Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to understand one of the most important components involved in starting a large marine diesel engine, the starting air valve. How does it work? What's inside it? And how does it help start a giant engine without using a starter motor? Let's break it down in simple terms with clear animations. Why do we need a starting air valve? In large two-stroke or four-stroke marine diesel engines, we don't use an electric motor to crank the engine during starting. Instead, we use compressed air, typically at 30 bar pressure, which is admitted into the engine cylinder to push the piston down and rotate the crankshaft. But to allow this high-pressure air into the cylinder at the right time, we need a valve. And that's where the starting air valve comes in. It acts like a gatekeeper for the air. Construction of starting air valve. The starting air valve is mounted on the cylinder head. It usually has these key components. 1. Valve body, a strong housing that can handle high-pressure air. 2. Valve spindle, the actual valve that opens and closes the air passage. 3. Spring, keeps the valve normally closed when not in use. 4. Operating piston, controlled by pilot air to open the valve. 5. Air ports, for pilot air and main starting air. 6. Drain hole, to release any moisture or leak detection. This setup ensures the valve opens only when commanded and closes immediately after the air impulse is over. Let's see the working principle, step by step. Step 1. Engine at starting position. The camshaft or electronic control unit sends a pilot air signal. This pilot air enters the top of the operating piston chamber. Step 2. Pilot air pushes the piston down. The operating piston moves downward due to pilot air pressure. This movement pushes the valve spindle downward. Step 3. Main starting air opens. Once the valve spindle lifts off its seat, main starting air at 30 bar enters the cylinder. This high-pressure air pushes the piston down, rotating the engine. Step 4. Timing. The air valve opens only near TDC, top dead center, when the cylinder is ready for starting air. This timing is controlled mechanically or electronically. Step 5. Valve closes automatically. When the pilot air signal stops, the spring pushes the valve spindle back up. The main air passage closes and the valve is sealed. Step 6. Safety feature. Drain hole. If the valve leaks, the drain hole allows air to escape visibly. This helps identify leaky or stuck valves before it causes starting issues. What are the safety interlocks? The starting air system has several interlocks to prevent accidents. Air will only be admitted to one cylinder at a time. The starting system is disabled if the engine is already running. It's also disabled if the turning gear is engaged. Common issues and maintenance. Common problems with starting air valves include valve sticking due to carbon deposits, spring failure, pilot air line blockages, leakage due to worn out spindle or seat, Regular inspection and overhauling during dry dock is essential. So that's how the starting air valve works, a small but powerful component that helps bring huge marine engines to life using compressed air. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your marine friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more technical videos.